So hey, when you're renovating an old cottage, it's always a good idea to strip down all your walls so that you can see what's going on. And what I mean, or what is a good idea, so see this beam up there? It runs from an exterior wall there, runs right through the center, and then runs right through to the outside. And then you look at this one. So over here, this one's halfway down. So you've got a beam that's running through there, and then it runs through there. But look at this. It's missing. There's about a five foot section that is not there. So if you start ripping and tearing, you rip this particular wall out right here, then all of a sudden you got no support. But you'd think there would be because that one runs right through, right up there, runs right through. And then you see it's running through on this side. So you think, oh, well, it's probably run right through there too. But nope, it's missing. So it's always a good idea to remove all the wall covering before you actually start removing walls or anything or deciding that before you decide how you're gonna lay out. Cause this is all gonna change. So this was an old bathroom in there. That's becoming, that's gonna be all reframed. We're gonna actually extend that wall out right there. That's going into the new addition and make it into a bigger bathroom. We're actually, that outside wall, it's got a bit of a sag to it. So we're actually gonna support it and we're gonna reframe that wall as well. So anyways, just some of the fun and joy that we all have when we're, we're renovating cottages or homes. So always, always know exactly what is up in your roof and what your walls what are the walls because you could be missing beams and headers and stuff so anyways till next time have fun i'm always curious to know what you guys are up to so uh, feel free to post all right take care